Hello, in the last few weeks we've been talking about having a daily quiet time and reading your Bible every day. And that's kind of like a daily exercise, a daily swim, if you will. But now I want to talk about going a little bit deeper, a deep sea diving and looking for hidden treasure. And that's what I call studying God's Word, examining it and examining it carefully to get to know what the Bible has to say. So the first thing I would encourage you to do is to find a good study Bible. I use the ESV study Bible because it has uh, good maps and commentaries and a good concordance at the back. And um, it also has... It starts each chapter with uh, letting me know who wrote it, where, when it was written, to whom it was written, and it, it really helps me in studying God's Word and examining it. There's also the NIV Study Bible or the Life Essentials Study Bible. So there's all sorts. Find the one that works best for you and spend some time looking for the right Study Bible for you. Then, as we get to uh, st sit down and study God's Word, I want to encourage you to also have a, a paper and pen so that you can record what you're learning. And then, always begin with prayer, asking the Lord to, to let His Spirit teach you, teach you what God's Word has to say to you. Now, a lot of times as I'm studying, what I do is I, I, I take a book of the Bible at a time. Let's say I'm taking the book of Genesis, and as I'm reading Genesis, I, I first of all read the entire book through to see what it says from beginning to end. Then, as I go into a deeper study, I will take it passage by passage, and most study Bibles have broken it down into passage by passage. And so as I, as I, as I observe a passage, I write in my notebook, I write down what I observe, the the who, what, where, why, how, who, who are the characters, what, what is happening in this passage, where are they going, what are they doing. As I write down the observation, then I stop and consider. I think about what am I learning about God in this passage? What do I learn about how he wants his people to live? And what do I learn about me personally and what, what God's word is saying to me? And then I write down an application. How can I apply it to my life today. Now you can also do a word study and when you do a word study you can choose just a word out of a verse and, and see other passages, look at cross references which your study Bible will have, cross references to see different wor where this word is used in different passages. You can study the Greek or the Hebrew um, by going to uh, blueletter.org uh, or um, using Logos Bible uh, software and, and studying a little bit deeper. I actually even use Strong's Concordance, a big old chunky concordance that, that uh, allows me to look up a word and look at the original Greek or Hebrew meaning of the word. That really brings the word alive. And then as I study it in different passages, it really helps me, helps me to understand what his word is saying and what that word means. Why do we study God's word? Well, I think about in Acts, Acts 17, uh, 10 and 11, it's interesting. Interesting, Paul and Silas went to a town of Berea, and there as they entered that town and they went to the synagogue, the scripture says, now the Jews were more noble. They received the word with all eagerness, examining the scriptures daily to see if these things were so. They were checking out God's word to see what does it have to say. They were hearing Paul and Silas teach, but they said they knew that they needed to examine the scriptures for themselves. And in the same way, we need to be studiers of God's word for ourselves. Sure, it's great to hear what other people have to say and what other people have studied. Yes, that's wonderful. But ultimately, we need to learn how to examine and study scripture for ourselves. So be a studier of God's word.